there, there was a series of pockets in here that was pretty much one pocket after the other, but this particular pocket, uh, we would spend uh, some weeks on it, uh, several weeks. We were also getting tourmaline and uh, some barrel as well, some morganite. Uh, we didn't see any aquamarine in this zone like we had found above it, but we did find some beautiful barrel also. So we spent weeks on this pocket. But the pocket, the barrel pocket, we spent six months on, to give you an idea. But then we, this particular string of pockets was pretty much one after the other, where we would blast a couple times and find st we'd still find small coon sites, and then, and then we'd find another one of these big blades. And so it went like that. You know, we found a lot, a lot, buckets and buckets and buckets of small ones. And then every few days, we'd, for a while there, we'd get one of these guys. Well, our, I, this, po this pocket was, by the time it's all sold, was probably uh, over a million dollars. But uh, they can go fast underground. We, we'll, we'll spend that, we'll spend that uh, pretty rapidly uh, looking for the next one. But the way it's, it's, been, it's been coming fast enough now where we're finally getting on top of things. And we, we, not, we don't have them here, but we have found some nice tourmaline matrix pieces too. They're not completely absent. We found some significant tourmaline pieces too, as well as pencils, gem pencils of different colors. That what's, what's intriguing is none of them are anything like Paula. Having spent a lot of my life in those mines out there, we're finding colors and combinations of colors unlike anything we've ever seen from the district. Of course, no one's been down dip in these pegmentites on Chief Mountain like we are but the tourmalines look more like they came out of the Jonas mine or some of these Brazilian mines. They don't look like anything like from Paula, the colors you typically see. They are, but you know, this particular spot, we're already down about 600 feet. So the, everything becomes problematic at 600 feet. Ventilation of fresh air, removal of waste rock, all that is very slow and time consuming. So. In our next pass down, which we're already underway, we are going to do one more level below and see if it if it if it increases again in production and and quality of gems, then we'll, we'll definitely figure out how to go deeper still. But and I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna do that. The last two levels have both increased in what kind of material we were getting, and you know the amount and how good the quality of the material is getting better. So it's going to be I don't it's going to be hard to quit on it but we've had to spend some significant money to uh, meet the challenges of mining deeper, ventilation and those things. From, from what I've seen, the, these are the finest gem roughs I've ever seen from Paula. The colors and sizes are just absolutely phenomenal and I've, I've fallen in love with Kunzite after finding these. It's really, quite something and we're still experimenting with you know the uh, photosensitivity of it it's we're finding that this purple this color right here is holding its color quite well um, we've had examples out of the ground for a couple of years now that are really holding their color well so what it what it does over five or ten years well we don't know you know we simply just don't know but I have this will make you fall in love with with Kunzite right there doesn't take many of those and you're like your heart melts <laughs> Some of the crystals were completely green. Some of them had green tips, such as this one. Still not a hidden night though, you know. If, if you sawed that piece off and sent it to the GIA, it would come back kunzite. even. It's not a hidden night. There's no chromium in the, but why it's green, I couldn't say, but it's green on the tip. Yeah. Now these are turning pink in the sun. The green crystals, if you lay them in the sun for even a half a day, they'll, it'll be a uh, nice rose pink just on the tip, but we did get some crystals. The entire crystal was green. Yeah, go and find something like that and you'll understand why I'm a gem miner. The tip of that thing's absolutely blue. You can see that, you can see it from here down, it's purple. From here up, it's blue.
no treatment of any kind has been done on these crystals. No heat, no radiation, no anything. 